Hey everyone, today we got a really fun uh, class for you guys. Um, what I want you to do first is I want to make sure you guys get all set up and get everything you need before you get the class started, okay? Um, so first thing you're going to need is some kind of uh, item you can kick over, okay? I have a chair here like this. You know, I can easily kick over this chair, okay? It doesn't have to be a chair. Find something you can kick over, um, preferably something that's a little soft. You know, this chair has a little bit of padding to it. Just in case you accidentally do kick it, you're not gonna hurt yourself. Um, so really think about that. Um, also what I have set up here behind me, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, is I have a little string or a rope here. Um, and uh, you know, get creative with this. You might need to use like your belt, okay? If you can string your belt along somehow. Um, you know, it's set up a little bit below knee level. So if you can get something set up, you know, at, uh, you know, a little below knee level, that would be great. Um, don't worry, if you guys can't get this kind of set up, you're still gonna be able to follow along with class. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how you can adapt it. So if you need to get set up, um, let's get everything set up now so we don't have to take a break in between. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video, get your little set up, you know, your mini, uh, your mini karate studio at home, and then once you've got everything set up, come back. I'm gonna put all this stuff away for now. We're gonna get going with our warm up, but we're gonna come back to this in a little bit. Okay, pause that video, guys. Okay, guys, let's get started with our warm up here. First thing we're gonna do is just 10 jumping jacks. Follow along with me. Ready, one, two, three, four, five. Turn it home. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is just kind of get our whole body loosened up. We're just gonna kind of lightly bounce. You can let your arms be nice and relaxed. So just bounce in. Look at my arms are just kind of dangling like this. Okay, we're gonna go for a little bit longer here, guys. Keep going. Good, nice and relaxed. Next thing we're gonna do is to get those hips loosened up. So what you're gonna do is think about slapping your foot, okay? Notice how I'm gonna go right foot to left hand, left foot to right hand. So. We're gonna add a little bit of a bounce, okay? So we're bouncing right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, guys, keep on going. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Couple more, right, left, right, left. Okay, excellent. Um, next thing we're gonna go ahead and do here, guys, is do Butt kickers. We all know how to do butt kickers. I'm going to turn sideways. So think about running in place, getting those heels up to your booty. Good. Start going, guys. Okay. Go ahead and face forward here. We're going to go ahead and turn our upper body. We're just going to turn from side to side like this. Warmed up, loosened up, ready to go for today. Again, turn a couple more times. Okay, now put your arms out to the side. We're going to circle our arms forward. Look how, I'm making, look how I'm making nice, tight circles. Not these big, huge circles. Nice, tight, small circles forwards. Good, now let's go backwards. Okay, guys, let's start with round two. Okay, jumping jacks again. We're going to do ten. Make sure to count the, the last five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're just bouncing in place. Bouncing in place. Let those arms be nice and relaxed. This just gets the whole body loosened up. Hopefully you guys remember what's next. Remember, we're still bouncing. Get those hips loosened up. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep going. Okay, now on to those butt kickers.
Okay, and let's go arm circles. And I just remembered I forgot to show you guys one, so we're gonna go over that in just a moment here. So arm circles forwards. Good, arm circles backwards. Good work, okay. So for the one I forgot to show you guys here, hands up. We're basically just bringing that knee up kind of like a check. Check, land, bounce. Check, bounce, check, bounce in between. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Excellent work, guys. Okay, guys, let's get those legs loosened up a little bit here before we start our stretches. Um, so we're just gonna do some, some squats, 10 of them. Count with me, remember I got the first five, you got the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, your turn. Okay guys, we're gonna do one more uh, warm up here for the legs. Um, we're just gonna do alternating lunge steps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step forwards with one leg and then back. Step forwards with the opposite leg and back. Okay, let's begin, okay? One, return. Two, return. Three, return. Four, return. Five, return count. So if you guys have been watching the videos the whole time, you know I've given you a goal, and that is 50 push-ups a day, okay? So we're gonna try to knock most of those out right now, okay? So I'm gonna do them with you. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see my push-up technique. Uh, remember when we're doing that push-up, do them on your knees if you have to, but go all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna do the first set on my knees with you guys. Okay, ready, one. Two, three, look how I'm flat. I don't have that booty up in the air. Four, five, your turn to count. Okay, guys, relax for a second. Okay, shake the arms out. Okay, hopefully you guys have been doing this challenge the whole time. When you come back, your push-ups are gonna be awesome. You're gonna have really good push-ups. Um, so again, let's shake the arms out a little bit. Okay, next set, I'm going to do regular push-ups. If you need to, keep doing them on your knees. Okay, guys, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job, you guys. Take a little rest. So that's already 20 push-ups. So all you gotta do the rest of the day is do 30 push-ups, break them up however you guys want, okay? Okay, everyone, let's get going with those stretches. The first one we're gonna do is just a simple squat. I want you to squat down like this. Um, what you're trying to do is, um, you know, get your heels on the ground, okay? So just by sitting here for a little bit, it relaxes the calf, the Achilles, um, gets the legs warmed up a little bit. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and kick one leg out to the side, and this is our half squat. See, I got this leg straight, this leg bent. Hands on the ground. Okay, now with me, go ahead and switch to the other side. Good. Hold this for a little bit. Okay, guys, now switch. And again, switch. Okay, now we're gonna slide into those side splits. Okay, guys, very good. Now, again, look how my legs are straight. Don't let those legs bend. This is not supposed to be comfortable. Okay, if you're comfortable right now, you're not doing it right. Okay, this should be a little painful. If it's really painful, you know, we don't want that but a little pain's okay, okay? 
A little pain makes you guys stronger. Now, as you get more comfortable, slide out a little further. This is really going to help you guys with your kicks. Okay, it's going to help you with that flexibility, that leg strength. Don't sit back yet. Hold it up, guys. I know it gets a little tough, but you guys are going to be tougher, right? Okay. Now, you guys know how to sit back. We're going to walk our hands back slowly and sit down. No crashing, okay? Now let's reach forward. Just go ahead and reach forward as far as you can. We'll hold this for a little bit. Good. Now let's reach over to one side. It doesn't matter what side, guys. Switch sides. And one more time. Let's go back to the middle. Shake them out. Okay, next two minute butterfly stretch. Okay, guys. You know what we're going to do right now? We're going to knock out another 10 push ups, okay? Um, so we're going to be 30 down and only 20 more uh, left to go for the day. So with me, get in that push up position. Remember, I'm counting the first 10, or the first five, you count the next five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Your turn. Okay, guys, excellent work. Okay, go ahead and stand up. If you're wearing your belt and uniform, fix that real quick. Okay, guys, let's get into our fighting stance. Let's do those stretch kicks. Okay, with me, ready? One, give yourself a target. Two. Three, four, five, your turn. set up that you can kick over. Um, don't use your brother or sister. That's not an okay thing to kick over. Okay, you know, I have a chair here. Again, get creative. Um, do what you can. If you don't have this, that's totally fine. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a way that you can do this um, without this setup. Okay, so we're going to start with the inside crescent kick. Okay, so we're in our fighting stance. Now, um, again, be careful with this. If you are kicking over a chair, uh, make sure you can get over it easily. If it's too tall for you, again, you might kick that chair. Um, you know, perhaps put like a pillow on top of it. Uh, that way you'll protect your foot, okay? This chair is pretty low. I'm gonna have no problem getting over it. So our fighting stance. I'm gonna kick with my back leg. Now, I wanna think about making a rainbow like this. And that back leg is gonna trace that rainbow pattern over the chair, okay? And I'm gonna land on the other side. And if you notice, I've switched feet. Okay, so now I just simply back up. Um, if you guys already know this kick, you know, this is kind of a, a, a basic tutorial, but still follow along, see if you can learn something. I'm gonna take that other leg now. Again, I make that rainbow over the chair. I land in front and step back. So at this point, you know, you guys should be able to do this kick. Let's go ahead and follow along. We're gonna start off kind of slow and then uh, build up our speed. Okay, on my count, ready? One, and step back. 
other leg two and step back if you don't have this chair again just you know imagine you got something here you're taking over okay ready three and back four and back five and back six and back seven back eight back nine back ten okay guys just relax for a second kind of shake those legs out get them all nice and loose get the arms loose get ready for our next round okay again this is the inside pressing kick now one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to make that rainbow too wide if you watch my kick you know i'm going pretty close to the chair if my kick comes out too wide you know what usually happens is my kick will start wide then it'll end and you know i'll hit this target here I'll hit the chair um, and it becomes too obvious like we wouldn't throw a punch from back here you know we want to throw that punch nice and straight you wouldn't throw a kick from out here okay you want to throw it a little more compact okay let's get ready for round two so everyone in that fighting stance with me one two Three, make sure you're breathing as you kick. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys. Um, guess what we're going to do right now? We're going to do our next set of ten push ups. Now, I got this chair here. I'm going to show you a, a way to practice with a chair. Okay, so if you got a chair like this, do follow along. If not, hit the ground. Let's do those 10 push ups. I grab the corner. Okay, ready? One. Touch your chest to the chair if you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's that is 40 push ups today. Okay, we only got 10 more. I'm gonna give you a little break. If you need to, grab a drink of water, hit pause, come back in about a minute. Okay guys, let's get going on our next set. Now that you know the kick, we can start going a little faster here. Okay, so we're in that fighting stance. And for my advanced belt, if you want a challenge, instead of an inside pressing kick, okay, make this a pop-up or jump inside kick, okay? I'm just gonna do regular inside pressing kicks. You, my lower belts can see how it's done. Okay, ready with me, 10 kicks. One, remember, not too wide. Two, keeping the head up, hands up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good work on those inside pressing kicks, you guys. Okay, everyone, um, I told you earlier to try to get set up something like this. And I know that not everyone has the room, maybe you don't have the, the equipment to do this. Um, you know, get creative, use your imagination. You can simply, you know, string your belt along. You can just have two people hold your belt. If you've got mom and dad, maybe they can each hold an end of the belt, you know, about knee level. Um, and if you don't have any of this, don't worry, guys. You can still follow along. So the first drill is simply um, called an over the fence drill. Okay, so I'm gonna stand next to the, the rope here. Hopefully you guys can see this on the camera, it's kind of thin. Uh, but if you don't have this, again, just imagine you've got like a little small fence here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna step over the fence and other leg over the fence. Pretty simple. Okay, now my right leg is gonna come over, left leg over. And if you can see here, I'm kind of doing the motion of an outside crescent and an inside crescent. So now I'm gonna do the drill with my hands up, okay? So over, 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 over. Again, over, 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 over. Okay, so hopefully you guys got that. Let's go ahead and do this for a little bit more speed. So follow along with me. Right, over, 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 over. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. Looking good. One, two, one, two. Keep going. One, two, last one. One, two. Excellent, guys. Take a little break. 
Okay, so that's the easy part of the drill, okay? Now we're gonna be doing a conditioning challenge. You know, Saturdays we wanna give you guys a little bit more of a conditioning workout, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one minute on the clock, okay, and you're gonna see how many of these you can do. Now, we're gonna go over, over, drop down onto our stomach, slide under, stand up, and same thing, over, over, drop down, slide under, stand up, over, over. Start practicing the technique with me real quick, you guys. We're just going slow, slide under, come up, over, over, down, slide under. Okay, so hopefully you guys can do that. Again, if you don't have this kind of setup, just visualize that rope there, go through the motion, uh, I'm gonna put one minute on the clock, and I got a surprise for you guys today. You are gonna be challenging your instructors. They're gonna be doing it with you, and we're gonna see if you can beat any of them. If you beat any of them, let us know. Let us know what your score is. Maybe have your parents film it. Um, and I don't know, when we see you guys, rub it in that instructor's face. Let them know you beat them. Okay, yes, yeah, so you're going against Mr. Fat Hill first. Every time you go over, under, that counts as one. Okay, make sure you guys are counting it off. We're gonna put one minute on the clock, right here, or over there, I don't know where the timer's gonna be. Ready, and go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, no touch the road. Back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16. Okay. Okay, guys. We're getting ready for that second round. We got Mr. Sappingfield up here. Um, these videos are playing back to back, so if you guys get tired, you know, in between rounds, hit pause. We know this is, is a challenging drill, uh, but like I said, Saturdays we really want to work on that conditioning. Um, you know, this is our conditioning day, so we got to hit it hard. We got to push ourselves. Um, our goal is to do three rounds of this. So take a break, you know, for a minute or so. Get a little water. Let us get ready for round two. Let's see if you can beat Mr. Sappingfield. One minute on the clock. Ready and go. One. Two. Three. And again, if you don't have the rope, you guys, just you know, imagine you got something. You're, you're, you're doing this over. Four. Take a little break. Guess which instructor is coming up next? Who have we not seen yet? Okay guys, final round. One minute on the clock. You guys are going against Mr. DeWall. Ready, go. One. Two. Three. Mr. DeWall does not want to lose to you guys. Four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen seconds, eleven. 12, 10 seconds. 13, let's see if you can get one more. 14, okay, excellent job, you guys. Uh, take a little break at home, hit pause, catch your breath, come back in a minute, get ready for some more. Okay, everyone, hopefully you guys are recovered from that last drill here. Um, so let's go ahead and work on uh, the outside pressing kick now. Okay, so again, I got my chair back here. Um, and uh, again, if you don't have the chair, you don't worry about it, you guys, just go ahead and follow along with me. So we're outside pressing kick. Okay, um, again, we want to think about that rainbow, that, that arc, okay? Instead of going across this way, we're going to be going the other way. So we're still kicking with our back leg. The first thing you have to do is turn, pivot. Okay, let's practice that. Notice when I turn and pivot, I don't turn my head. Okay, I keep my eyes forward, I keep my head up. I'm gonna turn pivot, and with that back leg, I'm simply gonna bring that back leg across and land behind. Now on this kick, I'm not switching legs. I'm gonna kick with the same leg every time. Okay, let's do a couple more demonstrate, then you're gonna follow along with me. I'm gonna turn, okay, I'm gonna throw that kick across, land behind. Again, turn, eyes forward, hands up, outside crescent kick. You guys should have it down, so let's start following along. We're going to do 10 on that, that back leg. doesn't matter which leg you kick with first, okay? Ready, turn, kick, one. Turn, kick, two. Turn, kick, three. Turn, kick, four. Turn, five. Turn, six. Turn, seven. Turn, Eight, turn, nine, last one, turn, ten. Good work, guys. Let's go ahead and switch legs. And let's just practice on this leg. So again, turn, look how I pivot, but I don't turn that head. I keep my, my eyes forward. That back leg is going to come up, over, land, behind, like so. Again, turn, pivot, kick. Okay, we should know how to do it. Let's follow along 10 kicks with me. Outside pressing kicks. Turn, one. Turn, two. Turn, three. Turn, four. Turn, five. Turn, six. Turn, seven. Turn, eight. Turn, Nine, and last one, turn, 10. Okay guys, guess what we're gonna do right now? Yep, we're gonna do that last set of push-ups. Now I'm actually gonna give you an advanced version of push-ups. Um, you don't have to do these. If you think you can, do them. If not, you're doing your 10 chair push-ups, 10 normal push-ups, 10 knee push-ups, whatever you guys can do. This is our last set, and you've reached your goal for today, 50 push-ups. So I'm actually going to put my feet up on the chair like this, okay? This makes the push-up a little more difficult, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent work, guys, okay? Hit pause, take a little break, we're going to come back in a second and do our next round. Okay, everyone, round two, outside pressing kick. Show me that fighting stance. Okay, we're gonna go a little quicker this time. Remember that turn. I'm not gonna say turn anymore, I'm just gonna count, okay? Eyes forward, ready, one. Breathe as you kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, 10. Good, switch feet. Okay, ready, other leg, 10 kicks with me. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, take a moment, hit pause. We're gonna come back for round three in about 30 seconds. Okay, everyone, final round, round three. Let's get it done. Fighting stance. Okay, on my count. Ready? One. Make sure we're breathing. Eyes forward. Head up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one on this leg. Ten. Good work. Switch feet. Okay, guys, ready? Ten outside pressing kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay, guys, let's do it. Okay guys, we're gonna go through our staff form. Now, with your staff form, you know, you can use a few things. If you have a staff, great, go and get it. If you don't have a staff, you can replace it maybe with your belt, make sure that belt stays tight. You could use maybe your screamer, stick your pad to screamer, or even maybe a broom. Just make sure that when you do do it, you have a good amount of space so you don't break anything. You don't wanna break any stuff in the house, okay? So you're gonna step out, horse dance. From here, punch. Punch. From here, poke right, poke left, up a block, down block, outside block, outside block. From here, move 10. You're going to switch, circular down, chin strike, overhead strike, chin strike, side strike, side strike. Overhead strike. Poke. Make sure you keep up on that. Overhead block. Chin strike. Circular block. Poke. And then finish. Salute. Tension. Bow. Now that's the whole form. Purple belts. You only have to do moves 1 through 12. Purple 1 belts. You have to do the whole entire form. I'm going to go over that with you again. This time I'm going to count, and we're going to face them this way so you can see the side angle. Ready? One, four stance. Aye. Two, punch. Aye. Three, punch. Aye. Four, poke right. Five, poke left. Six, block up or upper block. Seven, down block. Eight, outside block right. Nine, outside block left. Ten, switch. Circular down block. 11, chin strike. 12, overhead strike. 13, chin strike. 14, side strike. 15, side strike. 16, overhead strike. 17, hook. 18, step overhead block. 19, step chin strike. 20, Circular block. 21. Hook. Hey! 22. Salute. Tension. Bow. Notice how when I bow, my staff follows my spine. It does not stay downwards up here like this. It follows my spine. Okay. Last time I'm going to show you facing this way, and then we're going to go a little bit faster afterwards. One. Horse hands. Hey! Two, punch, Aye. three, punch, Aye. four, poke right, five, poke left, six, upper block, seven, down block, eight, outside block right, nine, outside block left, ten, circular down, eleven, chin, twelve, overhead, thirteen, chin, fourteen, side strike, fifteen, side strike. 16, overhead, 17, hook, 18, step, overhead, walk, 19, chin,
chin strike, 20, circular block, 21, poke, okay. and remember, salute, tension, bow. Let's go a little faster, you ready? Okay guys, one last time, let's see if you can keep up. Okay guys, side time. So if you got your side, go ahead and get them. Again, if you don't have side, um, you know, get creative here, you know, find something that maybe you can use as a, a side, uh, maybe like a, like a little, uh, <clears throat> like a spatula or something. You can practice flipping those out, ask mom and dad first, and if you can't find anything, you know, your fingers work great, this will still help you to learn the form, you know, practice the stances, practice the memorization. So I got my side here, let's go ahead and get started, ready position. I'm gonna start my first view facing you guys, then I'm gonna give you different views um, the whole time you should be following along with me. Okay, side form. Uh, make sure you keep that side against your arm here. Okay, a lot of people hold the side kind of like this, and that defeats the purpose. You know, this is meant to block something. Something can get in there pretty easily. I want this against my arm, so it's defending uh, against an attack. Okay, so ready position number one, cross those arms, core stance, shut in, two, punch in. Now three, I'm gonna come back, flip, and poke. Okay, four, punch in. Five, flip and poke. Six, flip that in, come across and upper block. Seven, I bring this down to my shoulders, switch the grip first, side strike. Next, upper block, come down to the shoulder, side strike. Next is the down block with that right hand. Now I'm gonna circle in, I'm pulling away as I come in with an overhead strike. Now other hand. Down block, again, circle in, overhead strike. Okay, flip that side in. Now other hand is an inside. Notice how I don't stop here. If I stop here, if an attack is coming at me, I'm gonna get hit. I wanna go across and deflect that attack to the side. So I go past by center line. Other hand, elbow. Now, inside, again, past that center line, elbow. If you think about that center line, I have to go across the center line and back across. Not too wide, right here, down strike, outside, down. 22, salutation. Now blue belts, that's as far as you have to know. If you want to learn ahead, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you guys, okay? Um, and let me actually turn sideways for this next part here. So this might be a little easier to see. Number 23, we step back in that fighting stance. Okay, I got both knees bent. Again, side against my arm. I don't have my arms staggered. They're both at the same, uh, they're identical. They look like a mirror image here. Let you guys see from the front and from the side. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna reach out. You're actually grabbing someone with these hooks. Okay, you're digging into their shoulder blades and you're pulling them towards you. Now as you pull them towards you, you're gonna lift that front knee 
and strike. Okay, let's try that move again. Reach out, pull into the front leg. I look how I'm balancing. I land in a front stance, double punch. Okay, let's practice that again, okay? Um, so let me do it facing forwards this time. So I'm at salutation. I go into that fighting stance. I reach out, I pull into the front knee, land, double punch. Next, I'm gonna do an X, I'm gonna cross, step forwards, double outside block. Okay, again, just like before, I'm not staggered, side or even here, okay? Um, I'm gonna kick with my front leg, I'm gonna do a front kick. As I front kick, I re-chamber, land wide in a front stance. I'm gonna flip both side out and strike. Okay, let's break that move down a little more, okay? I go back to that back stance, Side against my arm, kick, land in a front stance, strike. Okay? Let's try this from salutation, you guys. Okay, I'll do it uh, again, facing a couple different angles here. So, we got 23 fighting stance, reach out, pull into that knee, double punch, X, double outside, kick with the front leg, shift, double strike. Look how I'm in that front stance. Let's see it from a side view now. Okay, 23 fighting stance. Cross. Okay, let's get a back view. Hopefully you guys can see my front stance from here. Okay guys, let's try that again. Um, let's get a little further this time. Okay, so from salutation, here we go, 23, fighting stance, reach out, knee, double punch, cross, double outside, kick, double strike. Now, I'm gonna flip the right side in. As I pull that left side back, I'm gonna drop down, poke, like this. Okay, so watch again, from right here. Flip the right side in, pull the left side back, drop and poke. Now, I'm gonna flip that left side in. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump switch and that right hand is gonna circle overhead and strike. Uh, a lot of people will do the wrong hand, and think about this. If I'm striking with the other hand, what's below that side? It's my thigh, it's my leg. So you always wanna do it with the opposite hand. So there's nothing I'm gonna hit that I'm gonna hurt. I'm not gonna hit my own leg. Now I'm gonna switch again, and again, look how I circle overhead and strike. And one more time, circle, strike. I finish by coming back, feet together, palms facing each other. This is called a flat hand salutation. To an X block, back to attention. Okay, so that's the entire form. Let's go through it together again. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys a side view this time, okay, for the whole form. Okay, from the beginning. Number one, horse stance. Two, punch. Three, flip, poke. Four, punch. Five, flip, poke. Six, upper block. Seven, side strike. Eight, up. Nine, side strike. Ten, down. Eleven, overhead. Down, overhead. Inside, elbow. Inside, elbow. Outside, down. Outside, down, salutation, okay. 23, fighting stance, 24, knee, punch, double outside, kick, strike, drop, hook, switch, elbow, switch, elbow, switch, elbow. Okay guys, that's the side form. Hopefully you were able to follow along. Now if you Get a little lost, you know, rewind a little bit, watch that video, hopefully I broke it down enough for you guys that you can follow along and get all those small little details in there. Okay, great job. Okay guys, we got a fun drill for you guys here. So a couple things you might need here. Um, uh, something soft, you know, for you guys, orange belts and above, you probably have your sparring gear. So get one of your gloves, okay? Something else you could use would be, uh, you know, some kind of soft pad like this. You don't want anything too big. You know, a, a pillow is gonna be too big. The smaller, the better. Um, what will work really well is if you have something 
like a tennis ball, or these are like these small plastic balls, nothing hard, uh, nothing that's gonna hurt your hand, nothing that's gonna break anything in the house. That's the last thing your parents want is to hear a crashing sound and for you to say, ah, I'm just practicing my karate, okay? I'm gonna start with the ball, okay, to show you guys what we're gonna do here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna simply throw the ball up in the air, and the goal is to punch it out of the air. And when you punch it, you want to punch it straight, okay? And this will help you with uh, your precision, being able to hit a small target. This will help you with your speed. You got to react fast. This will also really help you with your technique. You know, if you're punching like that, the ball's not going to go straight. The ball's going to go downward. So I'm going to do a couple right at you, okay? So I'm going to throw that ball up. And if you can see, I know it went off camera, but that ball went straight. Okay, so watch again. I'm gonna keep this hand up. I'm gonna throw that ball up. Um, you know, what might help is if you guys practice like against a wall. If you face that wall, punch it, and that ball will bounce back to you. Again, make sure you're doing this in a safe area. You got plenty of room with a soft object, um, and that your parents say it's okay. Okay, let's do a couple more together. Then uh, you guys can practice on your own. Again, I come up, boom, punch. I want to punch that straight. Okay, let me get another ball here. Again, I'm going to throw that up. Ooh, that one almost hit the camera. I get bonus points if I do that. Let me see if I can hit the camera. Let's see if I'm that good. Oh, getting close. Let's do a couple more. You can also do it with a jab. So I'm going to hold in my backhand. I'm going to throw it up and jab, and again, all these balls are going straight. So let me show you what it would look like with your glove, okay? So you're simply going to throw that glove up like this, and I'm punching, and that glove went totally straight. I'm going to do it with a jab. I'm going to throw this up, boom, jab, bring that back. I'm going to do a couple more, just because this is fun. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can hit Mr. DeWall back there. He's collecting all the items for me. Oh, that one was a little low, but I still got it. Let's do one more, one more, okay? Oh, let's see if I can get Mr. Badhill over there. Oh, I, oh, I got him, I got him. <laughs> okay, guys, so at home, um, you know, hit pause. This is the last drill. This is your fun game. Work on this for a little bit. Um, great job. Face me, attention. 